you know, when we're doing an NGS aligned unit and we're really thinking about navigation, I think one of the things that's hard for me and for students is that the navigation isn't always linear. And so um, it's kind of my job as we're going through the unit to help steer them into making sense of what they figured out, why we're figuring it out, and how that then connects to the next idea. And so sometimes the navigation isn't necessarily the prettiest. Um, and that's sometimes hard because we reach a roadblock and we realize that what we were trying to figure out, it didn't really get us anywhere. So we need to go another route. And it's, it's you know, just like trying to get somewhere when you're actually driving, right? Sometimes you need a detour or you take a path that's a lot shorter and, or you go somewhere that's a lot longer. And so as I'm trying to help students navigate their learning, we realize that sometimes it's very easy and sometimes it's very complicated, but we all have the same end goal in mind to use what we figured out to connect back to the anchoring event. It's hard to balance, I think, where you know that you need to go and to also have students feel that they are owning what's going on. Um, and that's taken time for me as a teacher to develop too, whereas in the past it was very much like, okay, well this is exactly the next thing we're gonna do, and this is, kids, this is why we're doing it, but instead I've taken that piece away to be like, oh, this is what you wanna figure out. You, you don't know this, you have this question? Okay, well, even though I thought we were gonna go in this direction, this is not where I thought, but we're gonna have to figure this little piece out so that your understanding is over here. Um, I have a great example from a water unit that I piloted, and literally a student asked the question, how does water flow? And they had no clue. They literally thought it was from boats or they thought it was from wind. And so I thought that we were ready to look at elevation data. They had no clue about ele uh, elevation, but we literally had to take a stop and we had to have students own the fact that they didn't know this. We were gonna figure it out to get us to the next step.